Jill, what is it? How Joe Biden the senator reacted to September 11th attacks? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jill, what is it? Another plane, the other tower. When he got off the train at Union Station, Biden said he saw a brown haze of smoke in the sky beyond the Capitol Dome. A third plane had just hit the Pentagon. Damn it, I want to go in, he told a police officer after he marched up the Capitol steps and tried to enter the building. The officer refused to allow him to pass. As he recounted in his memoir, Biden felt it important to show the country we were still doing business. Linda Douglas, who was a reporter at ABC News at the time, said she saw Biden and then Republican Senator John Warner from Virginia discussing who had the most seniority because Biden wanted Congress to be called back into session. Biden agreed to appear on ABC News and followed Douglas a few blocks to where they had their camera set up. Douglas said when she interviewed Biden, Bush was on Air Force One, then Vice President Dick Cheney was in a secure bunker and congressional leaders had also been taken to safety. It was extremely important for the country to hear from a senior figure in the government, Douglas said. According to a transcript of the broadcast, Biden said the United States would track down those responsible for the attacks and in the meantime, urged the public to be calm and cool and collected. Terrorism wins when, in fact, they alter our civil liberties or shut down our institutions, Biden said. We have to demonstrate neither of those things have happened. He added, this nation is too big, too strong, too united, too much a power in terms of our cohesion and our values to let this break us apart. And it won't happen. Former Representative Bob Brady of Philadelphia, a longtime friend of Biden, was with the then senator for much of that day. He said he was giving Biden and Biden's brother Jim a ride home when the president called from Air Force One to thank Biden for the comments he made on television. During that call, Brady said Biden urged Bush to return to the nation's capital. Mr. President Biden told Bush, come back to Washington. You don't want the people to see our leader going into a bunker. Get him out of there, put him back in the White House, Brady said. And he did, to his credit, he did. Biden wrote about the call with Bush in his book, Promises to Keep on life and politics saying Bush told him he was headed to an undisclosed location in the Midwest because the intelligence community had advised him against coming back to DC. I recalled at the time a story about the leader of the French resistance, Charles de Gaulle, near the close of World War II. When France was liberated, there was a celebratory parade down the Champs Elysees in Paris, dignitaries, generals, and officers, led by Gaulle himself. As they walked toward the Hotel de Ville, shots rang out from overhead, and everyone hit the ground except de Gaulle. He continued to walk ramrod straight Biden wrote. After telling Bush he should return, Biden wrote, I hung up the phone, and there was silence in the van until Jimmy spoke up. Biden wrote that his brother told him, whatever staffer suggested he call you just got fired. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.